everybody. Uh, welcome to round two. We're on the play. Uh, I kept a sort of risky hand here, but we'll see how it pans out. Um, need to hit a third land to make things work here, but um, our deck is so full of threes that we can't reasonably expect uh, to like have a two drop. All right, well, we, we got there instantly, so everything worked out, but our deck has so many threes that like um, we're not likely to have twos uh, very often in our opening hand. And um, even you know when we get our when we get our threes and, and whatnot later, like it's hard to mulligan because we need three lands, right? So like if our opener doesn't have three lands, we go to six, and then it's harder to have three lands, and then on five it's you know it's virtually impossible. So uh, yeah, it puts us in this sort of awkward spot where we we kind of have to hope to get there, um, but we did get there this time, so everything's okay. <laughs> All right, Hamlet Captain, interesting. I think uh, we'll just take our lumps here. Um, if we have the option, we'll play the Stencia and Keeper, but if not, we'll just play this Conduit of Storms. All right, let's lock down our opponent's mountain. Get some value here. Should stem the bleeding, at least for a little bit. Foul Emissary. All right, we're probably gonna just make mischief this guy. If our opponent's on an Emerge strategy, like, the only reason you'd play Fallon in the series is if you're on the Emerge strategy, and if they are, then we don't want them emerging quite yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and, and, uh, and take care of that now. And... Don't think I want to swing for three. Yeah, we'll just pass. We'll play the control deck for now, I guess. What does this do? Five... Do you own both and a creature named Henry Garrison? All right, they don't have the Henry Garrison. Um, yeah, it turns into the Riding Township. All right, this is... I, I think Henry Garrison, isn't that a rare? I think it's a rare. Yeah, yeah, all the other all the other meld combinations aside from the Graph Rats are rare. So probably don't have to worry about this. Yeah, I don't know why you'd include this. I guess you can give stuff haste, so that's not terrible. But we're in an okay spot here. Um... Probably this coming turn, we'll just play the Conduit of Storms. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Arlen Cord. Oh, man. All right. Arlen Cord's going to be very difficult for us to, to compete against here. Um, yeah, Arlen Cord's going to be really tough to beat. Hopefully they, if they go in with both 2-2s, two then we'll get to make mischief for some value. Oh, no. Other humans, yeah, yeah okay, no, yeah. This is fine. The only problem is with all these devils that the Sanguinary Mage has got, got, a, got a way to block. We can ping Arlen. So if, if, if Arlen, like, lightning bolts a devil, then we can ping it down to one. Um, so most likely Arlen is ticking up this turn, is my guess. All right, opponent's deck is good. Yeah, definitely going up. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, yeah. Sure. Slayer's Plate was a good draw. We can't leverage it quite yet. I think I'm just going to play out two, two of these creatures. I think I'm going to attack, though, with both here. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is fine. I get to kill the Hinterland Logger here. Keep that from getting too out of hand. Yeah, and I think it's just the two two ones. Like playing a bigger creature here doesn't make too much sense because then our opponent just gets to bolt it down Darlin. Um, this seems a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting this Gloom Widow back onto the battlefield. Or sorry, out on out onto the battlefield, just because it can attack through the Sanguinary Mage. Yeah, it's fine.
Like the problem is that we're just we're just fighting against Arlen for so many turns here. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and play the conduit. No, let's play let's play the gloom widow. And then we'll crack the clue end of turn here. One's going to get to make another 2 2. Play some spells. They have the. Oh, Swift Spinner. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough game for us to win. Arlen Cord's just ridiculous and limited. It just makes it like very hard for us to, to push through damage. Most likely they have a spell in here as well. Yep, this attack makes sense. I think that's fine. The naturalize, so they'll get to kill the field creeper. That's fine. It's kind of annoying. You know, like, we don't have... Well, it's actually great that we didn't play this layer's plate when this came out, so I guess we have, we have that to be thankful of. Um, yeah, let's just run out this layer's plate. And I guess we just attach it to the Gloom Widow and uh, attack Arlen. Still at a high enough life total. I think our opponent's just going to block with the O3 here. Oh no, they want to trade. That's That seems fine. Okay. Yep. Okay. So next turn we can like attack with the Gloom Widow, play the Conduit, and equip. Seems all right. We're gonna take a, a quite a bit of damage this turn, but not much we can do about that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh geez, are we just dead? They get they get trampled. Three, eight, fifteen, seventeen. Yeah, we're exactly dead because I can block one. That's nuts. Oh, that's so frustrating. All right. Uh. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Anything that beats our land court, the answer is of course no. Um, ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Maybe I want the woodcutter's grit for the innkeeper. Yeah, let's try this. I I think I just want some some ways to trade up against their their high toughness guys. All right, let's. Definitely play first. Okay, this is a good hand. And the Woodcutter's Grit gives us some, some flexibility here. We've got the Brazen Wolves to, to put a lot of pressure on. Um, like, if we if we lose off of this hand, I feel like, you know, <laughs> their deck's just better. <laughs> uh, it's interesting, because, like, you know, we are in basically the same archetypes, but I feel like we got a lot of very good cards, so they must have been sort of far around the pod from us uh, while drafting. Um... Though I think they did manage to snag up all the removal that, that we were hoping to get. Great. Hamlet Captain is fine. Um, ooh, interesting. I think I'm just going to take this turn off. Uh, I'm, I don't want to trade a card for the Hamlet Captain. I think it's going to get outclassed. We have so many 2-3s. Um, and the Borrowed Hostility we can use at a later date to, to trade up. Something else. Make mischief. Okay. Just pinging us to get the 1-1. One, one. This is more than fine. Yes, yes. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just, let's just serve here. And then if they double block, uh, we'll just borrow hostility. Okay. They did not double block. That's also fine. Let's run out the Conduit of Storms. That was a really weird Make Mischief 
Like, I feel like you never want to use it to, like, just ping a player. I mean, I could be wrong, um, but that seems like a very uh, a very aggressive use of the Make Mischief. I'm going to throw this on the, the Noose Constrictor, I think. And we're just going to rumble. Rawr. Now I feel like they have to make some move. All right, let's see what their move is. Okay, this is fine. Yep, this is all fine. Um, so, do I want to save what? Yeah, I think I just want to save the brazen wolves here. Let's just uh, give this first strike. Like I'm gonna lose my conduit here, but then these guys can still attack into the two three pretty freely. And then I have the woodcutter's uh, grit to push through another blocker this turn. It's an aggressive attack. Play some big creature here. Oh, emerging. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, oh my god. <laughs> Could have gotten blown out if they if they had to naturalize. It would have been so terrible for us. Um, yeah, let's just attack. I think I want to trade this here. Brazen wolves, holy cow. <laughs> My first time getting to play, I've, I've heard uh, from a lot, of people, uh, a lot of folks that Brazen Wolves is, is a very strong card, but like, man, it is, uh, it is putting, in, putting in the hours here. Let's just uh, let's just get in here. Probably kind of has to block. Yeah. All of our cards being able to attack through the thermal alchemist is really nice. Um, the strange whelp is actually looking pretty bad this game. Seasons passed? Okay. Um, hmm. Can we breathe your hand? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty insane, actually. They get back all of these cards? Yikes. I think that means I have to kill the Thermo Alchemist? I think that's correct because I don't want my opponent to be able to emerge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Here the Horde Swarms is eight. So yeah, I think I just gunned down the Thermo Alchemist here. Opponent F6 or something. Forgot to uh forgot to activate their, their alchemist one more time. Yeah, now I think they're dead. They had the make mischief, um, and then the four drop. Uh but we have we're gonna have seven power between two bodies, so I think that's okay. Though they are top decker, so maybe they'll they'll have some sweet top deck here. Yeah, what did they what did they get back? They got back like uh, the it of the horrid swarm. They got back the make mischief. Okay, that was new. They had, they got back to Hamlet Captain, so I guess they can make mischief here to get another blocker into play. Sure. And that's gonna be gonna do it, I think. All right. 
So, on the draw, do we want to make any changes? I don't think so. Look at all these cards. We could play our own It of the Horde Swarm, but I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I think we just want to run it back like this. Like, we th we showed them Stitcher's Grab, so like that, that one uh, naturalize um, Emerge creature is going to be very effective against us. So maybe it's good that we have the two ones to bait them. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We're on the draw. Get a turn three Hellpack Wolves and then try to go off. All right, and uh, turn two Deranged Whelp. Not bad, not bad. Could use a land. Oh, we're just playing right into their hands here. Yeah, I mean, like, we know that they have the um, Make Mischief. So, but, I mean, we can't do anything about it, so we may as well, may as well play out our guy. Okay, well, if they had the Make Mischief, they would have probably fired it off already, so this is fine. Let's see what they have here. Oh, that's, uh, huh. Seems like a non-bow to me. Should, should attack after you get your prowess triggers, I would think. All right. Uh, let's play out the Hellpack Wolf here. I don't think we're going to want to block. Next turn we can play the Byway Courier or the Duelist, depending on what our opponent gets up to. Briarbridge Patrol. Deals combat damage to one or more creatures. Investigate. It's annoying. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's do what we're, what we're supposed to do with this deck. Hmm. We need to hit some more mana to really go off here. Ugh. Opponent's deck is good. I've actually been very surprised. This this draft, I think, like, our, our round one opponent's deck was, was decent, and I think this round our opponent has a pretty good deck. Do they reveal this card? You mean reveal a creature, okay. Hopefully it's not giant, uh, some giant, ridiculous uh, emerge creature. That would, that would not make us very happy. Um, I think we are going to try to race, though. We'll just, like, play the Byway Courier this turn and, and attack him for six. Okay. It's an emerge creature, but not a giant one. Okay, okay. Make Mischief here would be real nice. What if it emerged the... Okay, we played Hitter Land Logger. Yeah, Make Mischief here would be really nice. Big mission. Barred hostility. Okay. Um, yeah, let's attack. Do I want to attack with this? I might want to leave this back, actually. Yeah, let's just get in with the wolf. And let's run out the uh, byway courier. Hmm. I can use the Borrowed Hostility to get around the Briar Bridge Patrol here. We know our opponent has Ida the Horde Swarm in their hand, and they're probably just going to emerge it off the Foul Emissary. I think that's a pretty safe bet. I think we're in okay shape. Let's, uh, let's block the Byway Courier. So they're probably just going to merge the Foul Emissary here. Get a bunch of 1-1s. One we want lands more than anything. Lands would be nice. Okay, there's one. Let's run out the Slayer's Plate. It's three to equip, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll pass. Another land <laughs> would be very nice. Take another land. 
And I think if we if we do take the other land, I'm in the market for just the Devil's Playground first. Like our opponent has a bunch of X ones. Um, I think we're here, we're happy here just taking four. Okay, or taking a million. Um, let's block here and block. Is there some overrun in this set? There may be. Convenient, I get to investigate here. Oh, make mischief. How unfortunate. All right, well, we hit the land. We're gonna get our, our Devil's Playground this turn. Oh, let's attack first. Bam! Okay. So now, yeah, now I'm actually, I feel okay. All right, feel less okay. Oh well, no, you know what, I still feel fine. Okay, let's um, block, 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 like this. Seems fine. Um, and then I get to kill the incorrigible youths and an insect or something. I could I could just kill the it of the horde swarm. Yeah, let me let me consider my options here. So I can I can kill so I'm gonna kill this and this and then I'm gonna have four triggers. So then I can put two here and then one and one. Yeah. And leave them just with the the it of the horde swarm. So let's kill one two three. I can ping me to three here. I guess I do kind of lose hardcore to a removal spell, so I should probably just uh, just reduce this to ashes while I can and swing for three. I guess I can play the convicted killer as well, because then that allows this to block. All right, no big follow up. <laughs> no big follow up. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Okay, we can hit him for seven. Woodcutter's grid off the top. Do we miss a point of damage? Oh my god, if we miss a point of damage, this is going to be so ridiculous. Hit him for seven down to one. And then make mischief kills them. So we can't... We, we have to leave something back because they have the incorrigible youths. Um... Okay. We know they have the bombardment too. So yeah, I think I just have to play out the 6-6 six, six here. And attack them for three. This, this makes it so that they, they don't get to leverage the bombardment this turn. Man, I should have taken seasons past. Holy cow. We were so close to just burning them out, though. The Slayer's Plate. The thing is, is that they can just hold the incorrigible youths, and then like we can't make an all-out attack against them because they'll just they'll just be able to 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 get us on the backswing. Thermo alchemist is scary. Sanguinary mage also scary. Making mischief here. So I think I I think I have to play out both creatures. Is that right? Thermal Alchemist plus the Devil just kills me, doesn't it? So I have to I have to kill I have to kill stuff this turn. So my opponent puts like here here and then just like ugh. oh man. 
Couldn't you get a trample? Maybe my opponent will, will screw this up somehow. Nope. Looks like they figured it out. Yep. All right. Well, we lost here. This was a really fun, fun match. Uh, I definitely wonder if there was some point where I could have made an extra point of damage. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, it really came down right to the wire here. Like, we, we could have hit him for an extra, an extra four last turn. Um, if we had equipped the Slayer's Plate, but, um, yeah, really fun, um, I'll see you guys, uh, next time.